Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Sly Keeper and the Theus Like Raccoonus. Last episode, we did some more keys in uh in the Panic Keys area, which we did. I think we did. Was it one of these? I think it was the was it Flaming Temple of Flame? I think we did. We did uh the Rapid Fire Assault, and we did uh a Desperate Race. In this episode, we're gonna do Duel by the Dragon, and then the and then the boss fight against the Panic King. So let's. Let's do it, shall we? Basically, it's the final key, and then the panicking. So, which we we might do a little bit of clockwork in this clockworks like area in this game in this episode. I don't know. It depends how long this episode's gonna be. And the last episode was kind of short, so like I I don't I don't know how long this episode will end up being. So, but anyway, let's do Duel by the Dragon. Yeah, and also also Happy New Year's, guys, because it's 2021 now. Woo, we survived 2020. That's freaking amazing. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's definitely the new, I mean, it's not New Year Day, but like, it's January now and everything, so Happy New Year, guys. Hope you, ha hope you guys had a new Happy New Year and had a good 20, start to 2021. <laughs> we know, we know, we know 2020 starts, so we know, we know that. Freeze, raccoon. How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse Damn. the issue. You criminals are all the same and none of you can escape justice. Uh, not exactly. We're not all we're not all the same. Like we're we're the good guys. Well, we're the good criminals, basically. <laughs> we're the good criminals. We're still criminals. But we're good criminals. And look, I love how bad her aim in this game though is. But yeah, like anyway, welcome to another come leader level. Definitely start this off, episode off with a come leader level, which is awesome. Which is interesting. Like I always, what's interesting is I always end this. In this game, doing this like this last bolt, doing this level and stuff like that, which is always interesting when you think about it. But uh, one thing is, we need to get up here, so we know, so so because commonly, if you can't get up here, if commonly that knocks those things down, down. So like, you can see that commonly can shoot those. But yeah, but we do get a, we do get a ton of coins though, so you know there's that. <laughs> but yeah, just oh, don't want to miss those clues. I mean, it doesn't really battle that much because, like, we would have to go back. We had to go back for the vault at, at the very end of the game, anyway. So, like, which might be in the next episode. Like, it, it might be like, cause like I might have this. Might I mean, it depends on how long of the episode I'm gonna be. Is it gonna be? Cause like, I think I'm gonna have the final being pretty long episode. Like, <laughs> God, her aim's so slow in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, I mean, her aim's terrible in the other games too, but. Like this game, she's slow. I mean, like I like even when playing slide two and slide three, you can tell that her aim is faster. Like, I mean, she she where she if she hits me, it's it's just luck, luck. If she hits me, it's luck, basically. Cause that's how good I'm at the game. But yeah, basically. Also, I also I also like how I love how like. This whole I love how they have comedy those sections. I kind of wish we got more comedy levels. One thing would be not pretty cool if we got like you know, say like one comedy like level like for each of the different finished five areas. That would imagine if we got one for Sir Wally, one for Mugshot, one for Miss Ruby, one for Panic Kick, and then Clockwork as well. Which I mean. Which that would have been interesting, though. I mean, I can see why she's in it a little bit more in uh, in late later in later parts in the game to help stop Clockwork and everything, because she's a major character and all that. But well, I think we, I think we got all the clues. We're only missing one, two clues, which we still have a little bit left in this area in this area to get to. So yeah, but man, I can't I can't believe it's almost the end of this game because then it's slide two time. Yeah. It be interesting to see when I'm actually gonna finish this let's play, like the full trilogy and stuff like that. So um, that that's that's what's gonna be interesting to see how long it takes to actually do slide two and three. Cause slide two's 
probably will take the longest. <laughs> she still missed. <laughs> like her aim's alpha look. Boom. Like that. One thing that's annoying though is she can like go for that and like do that. <laughs> like she can aim, she can like predict which one he's gonna do. I got all the clues, right? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. Basically, basically, you had to do defeat clockwork to unlock the final vault, which is interesting. It's kind of annoying, though. But like, I mean, I guess it's just part of the game. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. The only annoying thing about it is if you 100% it, like if you completed everything about this game up until this point, like how I'm doing basically, except for the Master Space points, but uh, but yeah, that's like, I mean, the only nice, I mean, the thing, once you be caught work, you can get all the vaults, if you miss the vaults, you can go back. So I'm drinking a sip of water there. <laughs> yeah, I had a cup of water. Sitting, by, sitting next to me, but uh, I got this guy over here. Hold on, man, I can't wait till I get to slide too, because slide too. Right. I would kind of wish the paraglider was this game. <laughs> the paraglider is like the best weapon in the entire like game and stuff, or the series. It's great, and you know it's not in the first game, it's in the, in the later games, but yeah, let's unlock the let's unlock the keys to, you know, the Panda King's area. Yeah, I think this. I think this gonna. This might be a little bit of doing some clockwork stuff in this episode. Flame Foo. Ha! <laughs> nice name. I see you carry Cain of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge to steal back the thievious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a <laughs> long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. <laughs> child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still... To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with doom. the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Man, this, this, god, that dialogue is pretty iconic. One thing that also makes it more iconic I is, uh, Sly 3 brings us basically this fight back, which is interesting, and they actually kept the exact same dialogue. Well, except for Sly, Sly kind of changes a little bit, but like basically the they have the where the Panda King says the same. Oh, oh I got hit. Here's I don't get hit. <laughs> I can just at least keep hitting him. But yeah, this is like the easiest boss fight like ever. Though. Like it's it's kind of ridiculous though. You just have to dodge and jump. <laughs> Boom! See, look, like oh my god, this is easy. Can I, die, can I dive him? Booming oh, shot. that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Look at this. The wall. Huh, slow. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Smack slow motion. Fiery wheel. Oh! Bam! On slow motion at the very end. <laughs> Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <coughs> Pennas aren't always cool. Aww. Yeah. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor. 
Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on like his aid in his <laughs> criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Nice. But yeah, that... Hold on. Does, 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 uh... Okay, he didn't say anything. Thank you. I think Bentley didn't say anything yet. But, um... Yeah, that, uh... That Cooper looked like a goal. No offense. <laughs> Let me in the cutscene, the Cooper. But anyway, let's go to Clockworks okay, here. Let's start partner, it. This is it! A trip to Clockworks Lair! Let's do it! It's only been 11 minutes. We were on our way to the Krakarov Volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious Clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Sly Cooper in the cold heart of hate. Man, I'm probably just gonna cut it off sometime midway through here, unless I just end up deciding to do the final. Hey, <laughs> Sorry, interrupt you. But yeah, what's interesting about Clockworks area, uh, it's a bunch of mini games. Yeah, I mean, I know, I kind of, kind of wish it was like a no normal level, because it would have been better. Like, I mean, it's still pretty fun. Like, it's still interesting. That I, I guess, I think they probably just trying to do something different. Robo Falcons? <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, these are basically clockwork robotic minions, basically, or babies. He's ba he's baby clockworks. That's no tower. It's a giant death ray. Fly, take out those rocks, or we're in trouble. That'd be bad. Boom! We did it. That part, at least. <laughs> Heads up! The Robo Falcons are back. The Robo Falcons. <laughs> That's interesting way to describe a lot. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I need to. Definitely make sure. There you go. That's good. Oh boy, definitely make sure. Oh boy, this can be a little difficult. Oh, we did it! First try, nice. Ooh, last part, can, the last part can be a little tricky. Murray, that cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. Ooh, burning rubber. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, it won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay. And Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Oh, you know I don't get it how we have to want to get 60, 60 computers. Slug, die, slug. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. I don't know why we had to grab fucking computers. <laughs> it's so weird. 
It's so weird when you think about it. Like, why you had to go get some, like, why do you have to whammy the computers? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm destroying them anyway, but you know. Oh, oh it's actually not that hard. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, like. Geez, or, like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just destroy these lugs. Boom. <laughs> like, look. Just ram into it. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, I mean, a lot of the stuff in the comic books area. I mean, it's like Cooper, so you know, it does not make sense. Get out of here, Clark! So there's only 119, so you know, watch out. Even though they keep falling no matter what, even if we. <laughs> Got 50, baby! Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm, I'm, I got, I, we got, we got it. There's two more, where are they? There you go. Nice driving, Murray. Now we have enough data to open the security doors. Just past them is the control room to Clockwork's Death Ray Tower. I think it's time for some Cooper thieving and sabotage. Don't you think, Sly? The weird thing about that, that mission, the computer was, it, it does, it was weird, so weird. Doing it. <laughs> Careful, Sly. Those tiles are booby trapped. You better get out of there. Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. Oh yeah. Dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you. But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides. Stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. Huh. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Yeah, I've relaxed Bentley. Jeez, these slides been doing it a million times. Have you not have you not like played the, done it that before? Jeez. Do you, not, do you not know me? Or know Sly, really? Jeez. I mean, it's Sly 1, not Sly 2 and 3, but, you know. Psh. I mean, to be fair, they have also been, you know, friends for, like, life, so, you know. There's also that. <laughs> but, yeah, be sneaky. The actual sneaky section, like, actual Sly section, not what it says, minigames. I guess they do have some of it that isn't a minigame. Like, you have this level. Oh, this section, you have, you have like this, like, there's a, near the end of the second to last, right before you beat, right before you battle clockwork, there's a, like a, like a platforming slide level section of, 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 uh, clockwork's area. Man, you might imagine, like, how different this game would be if it had, like, levels, like, you know, clock, like, the other levels in this game. <laughs> like, the normal. Oh, jeez. That's not good. But thankfully, we can do this. Yeah, I love how the barrel ash used is used at the very end uh, of the other game, like how we did in Sir Wally's area. Sly Cooper, I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. Ooh. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Okay, now time for hacking in the game. Which, they were even better. They were actually even better in Sly 2. While. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm going to get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh. Well, looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley. But yeah, basically this is like a mini game. A hacking mini. It's a supposed to be hacking a computer or hacking stuff, but like it's weird, it's like, it's weird, like, in the Sly series, hacking computers are basically minigames. Um, it's, it's complete, the hacking minigames in Sly 2 and 3 are completely different, by the way, so, like, 
It's really interesting. You don't want to get hit by those uh, little rotating things that clock robotic clockwork is sending out. I mean, clockwork is a robot, but you know, computer generated clockwork. <laughs> I guess. Well, I mean, to be fair, it is, we were playing a PS2 game, so or a computer a, a PS2 game, so technically it is computer generated, no matter what. But you know, you know what, man. <laughs> Come on, get the other one. Yeah. Level four. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Who you can see it can be a little tricky because oh jeez. I mean, definitely hit the, the more, uh, oh, 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 man. You can see I can get stuck down here, too. Get the lock. I can't even get the cheese. Or the little computer bit code thing. Get back over here. Come back over here. There you go. There you go. I'm the best. No code can stand before me. <laughs> so weird. The, the mission. Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Oh wait, I smashed it. <laughs> you can see the coins all these too. Nice. 86 coins. A temporary truce. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Mm, Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your Yeah. Alright. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. Yeah! I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Oh, I. Right. I'm actually on pot in this episode off here um i'll see you guys the next episode after we finish sly one the thievius raccoonus i know it says we're only 79 percent done a lot more than that but anyway i've been green covers gang hope you enjoy this episode of sly cooper and i'll see you guys next time Wah. i'm out bye bye